Welcome back to another section of Show and Go. Um, in this episode, we're going to work on the air intake manifold and um, figure out how I want to modify that. And then, depending on how fast that goes, hopefully get into uh, welding some exhaust and getting that all routed. So, got a lot to do, let's get started. So first thing I want to do is remove the throttle body. Uh, I don't want to damage anything or just get metal shavings in it when I'm cutting. Uh, and I have new gaskets for everything. By the way, the new gaskets, kind of pricey. But I think it was like a little over $80 for the three different gaskets that this intake manifold has. Next thing I want to do is remove this little metal plate here on the back. I'm just curious on what's inside uh, before I cut it. And so hopefully this will open a, a little portal so that I can look into this intake manifold. Be careful with this little metal gasket. I don't want to damage it. I don't have a new one. Well, it is very dark and dirty in there. So, but it looks like this whole section right here is completely hollow. Um, you can tell by, um, maybe you can see from where I drew with the permanent marker. This is where I'm going to um, cut it off. Um, so that way I can weld on a plate here and relocate this, this part of the throttle uh, intake manifold over here which I'll explain after I'm cutting. So I'll chop that up. So I have the throttle body chopped off. Well, I guess not the throttle body, but what the throttle body bolts to. Um, it's not the straightest, but uh, it should be pretty good. I have a friend and that will, that's a fabricator and really good at welding that I'll be taking this to him tomorrow. Um, right now it's Friday and I start working on this after work. So what I have planned is get this part blocked off with a aluminum plate and it'll still connect the, the two halves. And then it's also connected here in the, the front, I believe. I've already gone ahead and cut out here on the top and just making sure Oh, how far down I want to go. I was originally planning to go where the, the seam is right here. And I believe that's going to be where I will go. That'll give me enough clearance between the engine block. Because I'm going to have it come down a little bit. I'm also going to, um, when I do my wiring, remove all this plastic. Um, covering and tuck it underneath the air intake manifold to make it less crowded and also when I get to the wiring most of that went to the automatic transmission that was attached to this motor so I'll get to figure out what I do and don't need but that's for a different day so 
So I'll finish cutting off the air intake manifold and show you uh, what else I have planned to make it work. Just finished cutting it. Took a little bit, uh, a little bit of time to cut it with the, just like the cutting wheel. But, so this is where the throttle body was. I'm just going to weld a plate onto that. I think I may have said that earlier. Sorry if I'm repeating myself. And this is the little plate I cut off. But I'll I'll turn my light on, see if Oh but nope, my battery's dead on my light. But anyway, you can kind of see that they're pretty well shaped little trumpets on the intake tubes. Um definitely gonna clean it. That uh, that's all from the e EGR and then also um, from the oh, what are they called the vacuum lines that go into the valve covers that it, you get a lot of oil and carbon buildup. I'm going to be using a oil catch can and deleting the EGR so it will prevent a lot of that gross buildup. Also, after you're done cutting, you'll want to, and after you're done welding it, you'll want to wash it really well. You don't want any of those little metal bits getting sucked into your engine. I also finished making the little template. I'll use this to um, know how to cut my pieces of aluminum that I'll end up welding on. But it'll end up going something like, like this. And throttle body, something like that. So I'm going to now test fit this on the engine and make sure that, because I, I came up with my cardboard things um, before um, my air, air intake manifold fit on my engine. Um, so let's see how that goes on the engine. So here's it mocked up in the engine. That this will go right here. Plenty of space for a, a pod filter. The, the only thing that I might end up changing the angle just slightly so that way I have more clearance between the throttle body and my front strut. But they'll have this going level with the top of there, so it put, should put me about half inch um, three, three quarters of an inch under the hood height. Um, that might be close. Yeah, so definitely it'll take a little bit more tweaking, but that's uh, the idea of how I'm going to have it work. Well that's a wrap for today that I was able to finish everything I wanted to with my air intake um, at least that uh, didn't do anything with the exhaust so I'll say that for another day uh, probably while I'm waiting for my air intake manifold to get all welded up and, and stuff. I was able to tweak the, my cardboard uh, and make the angles the way that I need to for, for clearance you can make your own like I'm doing. You can also buy ones through Minitech that that they've already done all the measuring, all the figuring out. Um, then you can also buy aftermarket ones. Holly has a really cool one that if I end up turbocharging this in the future, that's probably the, the route I would go. Um, well, that's all. Hopefully this video was helpful. Um, hopefully it was somewhat educational I suppose. If you have any comments please leave those in the below. Uh, let me know what I could improve on, what you'd like to see, what you uh, what I could do better in my videos. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe.
See you guys next time.